What's up guys, welcome to the video. Today, for me is Friday, and this is the first week that I have been outside of the 9 to 5 job, 8 to 5 job, whatever you want to call it. This is my first week where I make my own schedule, and it's interesting. It's definitely like a learning curve. I'm trying to figure out when I'm most productive and when I'm the best working, and, and but right now I just did some stuff in the morning, had a video call, worked on some content, and now I am getting a haircut. It's time for a haircut, and I need to get new headphones because this happened. Now, I still have my AirPods and I like them a lot, but for editing they're not the best because you want to make sure that you have something that um, plugs in over your ears, cancels out any distractions, and those worked great. Those were Beats too, and they last forever. I'm very happy with them, but it's time for new ones. over the fact that this is mine. That's crazy. Okay, so the haircut is done. I'm so happy with it. The headphones are done and I'm not happy with it. Gosh, they're so expensive. So I ended up getting um, the Sony ones like noise canceling and you can like adjust the sound profile with an app and stuff oh gosh they were expensive now I'm at a coffee shop I'm gonna do some work try to like swallow the price tag <laughs> oh I worked out this morning Okay, so I just want to spend some time talking about what my time looks like while I'm not at work because oh I left the fan because as you guys know in my last video like I was talking about I no longer work eight to five at RX Smart Gear I am in more of a client freelance based role um, but I do have some reoccurring jobs that will kind of keep things going during the the week. The first one is an exciting one. It's, it's a, I work 10 hours-ish a week doing social media production for a company called Video Influencers. They are a YouTube channel that helps YouTube channels grow. Their like slogan is they want to help you increase your influence, income, and impact using online video. I make little micro content videos for them for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I make posts for them 
on all those platforms. And that's just like a consistent thing that's happening. 10 hours a week, I'm doing that. It can be whenever I want, wherever I want. I can be at a coffee shop, I can be at 6 a.m. in the morning, it can be wherever. Um, another thing is I still do freelance work for RX Smart Gear. So um, a couple events they have going, I'm gonna be the one shooting them, filming them, editing them, um, doing product videos for them, and that's another consistent stream. And then last but not least, I'm going to be putting a lot more time into my YouTube channel. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm getting a consistent schedule out for videos. I don't know what it is yet, but you will know as soon as I do. I want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to make this YouTube channel grow because I would like for this to be the mainstream, that everything funnels through this channel. You can't do that off 7,000 subscribers, even though I am so blown away when I think about the fact that I have 7,000. Um, but that is going to be a big, you know, put an effort is that it's not going to have a lot of return right now. But the goal is that as I continue to grow that, as I continue to develop that, that YouTube can kind of be the main source and less, you know, outside video projects, etc., etc. So that's kind of what I'm doing. That's what my time is looking like. I actually had a really busy week this week, um, even though I didn't go to work because I was constantly trying to set things up, doing work, putting stuff out. Um, it's fun though, like to make my own schedule, to make sure that even though I'm still waking up early, I'm still working out at 6 a.m., I'm still making sure as soon as I'm done working out, I'm working, but it's on my time, you know? And it's so different, and it's cool. It's cool.